This has not loaded yet, but your article continues below. Raptors blown out by Sixers, rookie Barnes injured as everything goes wrong in opener Bill Stryker slash USA Today Sports. Article content Philadelphia, Joel Embiid was the Raptors focus coming into game one. Two story continues below this has not loaded yet, but your article continues below. Article content we apologize, but this video has failed to load. Tap here to see other videos from our team. Try refreshing your browser, or Raptors blown out by Sixers, rookie Barnes injured as everything goes wrong in opener back to video then, when it switched to a secondary focus on the Sixers team earlier in the week, it was James Harden. But in the opener of this best of seven Eastern Conference quarterfinal, it was Tyrese Maxey who did the most damage. Well, Maxey and the Raptors themselves, if you want to be totally accurate as the Sixers opened up with a dominant 131-111 victory in what Fred Van Vliet called a pretty near-perfect effort from the Sixers. They beat Toronto on the boards in the paint on second-chance points and fast-break points. It was a total beatdown. Potentially far worse than the Game 1 loss, however, was the Raptors' injury count coming out of the game. Scotty Barnes, the Raptors' Mr. Everything rookie, had to be helped to the locker room with just more than nine minutes remaining in the game after what had been an impressive playoff debut. Three story continues below this has not loaded yet, but your article continues below. Article content Barnes was in a defensive posture and standing still when the 280-pound Embiid came down on the arch of his left foot. Barnes immediately hit the deck and grabbed at the foot in obvious pain. He needed help to get to the locker room. X-rays after the game were negative and for now they are calling it just a sprained ankle, but there will be further imaging taken before the Raptors hit the floor again on Monday for Game 2. The Raptors also lost veteran reserve Thad Young after the first half with a sprained left thumb and seemingly dodged another potential injury when Embiid's elbow hit Kem Birch in the face instead knocking him temporarily silly. Birch left the game, but after clearing the concussion protocol returned. For story continues below this has not loaded yet, but your article continues below. Article content all of that bad news managed to mask the bigger problem, which was the fact that the Sixers were the more physical, the more energetic, and the more determined team from the opening tip until the final buzzer. The Sixers got through the entire first half without committing a turnover, a new low as far as head coach Nick Nurse was concerned. We've just got to be better, Nurse said after pointing out just how damn good the Sixers were for most of the night. For us, I think in the first half they had zero, and I told the team, I don't remember a half in nine years that I've been here where we haven't turned a team over at all. Just goes to not enough ball pressure, not enough active hands, probably not enough physicality. Things that you need to do. Five story continues below this has not loaded yet, but your article continues below. Article content The night started with Toronto's defense extremely slow to respond to just about anything the Sixers did. It was nowhere near the level it had been in the season's final three weeks, or had to get to in the opener of the playoffs. Nurse seemed content to praise the Sixers for a fine effort until the question was raised about how the Raptors planned to respond to the manhandling they experienced at the hands of Embiid. The Sixers' big man was in a nasty mood and doled out plenty of punishment to numerous Raptors throughout the game, not all of it of the legal variety. The counter is we've got to believe that if we're legal defensively, that they're going to call those, right, Nurse said. Like we had a couple of times where we beat him to the spot and he buelled us right over, and they just let him lay it in. I don't care if you're 5 foot 11 and 160 pounds, if you beat him to the spot and he runs over, it's a foul. Nurse wasn't done there. I thought he threw three or four elbows to the face, he got called for one, Nurse said. Okay. I mean, we're gonna stand in there. We just need, if we're legal defensively, then we've got to have M called or we don't have a chance, period. Nobody can guard that guy if they're just going to let him run you over time and time again. We're gonna stand in there and we'll see if we don't get a few more elbow to the face calls and a few more beat M to the spot calls. Six story continues below this has not loaded yet, but your article continues below. Article content Maxi, meanwhile, did his talking with his scoring. He finished up with a career high 38 points slicing and dicing the Raptors with each successive drive. 
the quick as lightning point guard torched the Raptors from every corner of the court. Van Vliet had a tough night with the whistle picking up two early fouls, and then playing in foul trouble the rest of the night, until he picked up his sixth on the same play that Barnes was hurt. Van Vliet did not go quietly picking up attack on the way out as he let the officials know exactly what he thought of their performance. Van Vliet, like Nurse, walked the fine line of giving his opponent credit while maintaining the need to be better next time out. I wouldn't say we lost ourselves, I think we just weren't ourselves in a lot of areas, Van Vliet said choosing his words carefully. I think a lot of what we do is predicated on our aggressiveness and our length and making plays on the ball, causing turnovers blocking shots. And I think whether that was jitters from some of the newer guys, or the whistle, or whatever the case may be were just a little slow. They won the physicality battle, he said. And you could argue about officiating all day but there's still ways to be physical without fouling, and they won that battle tonight. Share this article in your social network. Latest national stories One story continues below this has not loaded yet, but your article continues below. Your midday sun from room at noon, the latest headlines, stories, opinion and photos from the Toronto Sunday email address There was an error, please provide a valid email address. By clicking on the button you can send to receive the above from Post Media Network Inc. You may unsubscribe anytime by clicking on the unsubscribe link at the bottom of our emails. Post Media Network Inc. 365 Bloor Street East, Toronto, Ontario. M4W3L4416383-2300 signing up. A welcome email is on its way. If you don't see it, please check your junk folder. The next issue of your Midday Sun will soon be in your inbox. We encountered an issue signing you up. Please try again.